Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video, you will learn how to create an alias in Linux and you will learn with an example to create an alias to log into a remote server using SSH. So let's get started. Before we jump into the practical demo, let's learn what an alias is. Well, an alias in Linux is a shortcut that points to a command. Aliases are typically used in place of lengthy commands to increase efficiency and prevent potential spelling mistakes. For example, we have a long command, probably one to two lines to perform a task and we don't want to remember all strings or numbers used on the command or we don't want to type them all each time we want to execute that command. We can create an alias of that command and run that by using a single word or even a single letter. With that short explanation, I hope you know what an alias is and why we may want to use it. Let's move on and learn it practically with a short demo. In the previous video, we have learned that to log into our remote server using SSH, we should type the command SSH space username at IP or hostname of that remote server. Then we should enter the password of the user on the remote server. If all the credentials are correct, we will be logged in. But what if we want to run this long command using a single word by creating an alias? Fine, that will be easier and time consuming as well. For this demo, I want to execute that command after I type web1 and hit enter. For now, I haven't set any alias. So typing web1 and pressing enter doesn't output anything. To create an alias, simply type alias. Give a name, for example, web1 equals double quotation the command then the double quotation close and hit enter the alias to log into a remote server using SSH is now created to see it on the list of aliases on the system type alias and hit enter here we can see it to verify if the alias works type the alias name and hit enter as you can see, the alias is working. The command is executed successfully and it's asking for the password. If you type the correct password and hit enter, you will be logged into the remote server. However, the alias that you create on the best terminal is temporary. That is, uh, it will work until you are logged into the current session. If you log out or close the terminal and start the new session on a new terminal or new tab, the alias won't work. As you can see, web1 doesn't output anything. Also, if you type alias and hit enter, you don't see the alias on the list. Don't be afraid of configuring and losing aliases in Linux because we can configure permanent aliases as well. So let's move on and learn about how to create an alias that remains intact even if you log out of the current session or reboot your PC. For this, uh, we will need to append the alias on a file named dot bashrc which is in the home directory of a user to check if the file exists on the home directory of the currently logged on user you can type ls space hyphen al tilde slash pipe grep bash we can see the file exists in the required location next let's open the file with a text editor such as beam and append the allies If the beam command is not found, we can install it using sudo apt install beam. After beam is installed, open the .bashrc file. Press I to switch the beam editor to editing mode and append the alias somewhere on the file. Then press escape key, type colon X and hit enter to exit the file. Now still if you type the alias name such as wave1 and hit enter, it doesn't work because after we create a permanent alias, 
we should update the file by running source and the file name. Now if you type the alias name and hit enter, it should work. Here we go, it's working now and asking for the password. Since we have created a permanent alias, we can use it even after disconnecting from the current session or closing the terminal and reopening it. Finally, to remove the alias, you should either comment on the line on the .passrc file or you should remove the line of an alias on the file or you should use uh, the unalias command and then source the .passrc file and then log out of the current session. Also, you need to log out of the current session. Okay guys, this is how we can create temporary and permanent aliases in Linux. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Goodbye.